Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Art Sell of Cards. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we have a fun experiment that we're going to work on today. Uh, I read in a magazine about making Rotorball perfume. And so I went to my handy dandy Amazon account and uh, I looked it up. I was able to find these little jars that come with the little roller ball piece. And the caps. Simple to find. And the, the flavors I want to try today, we're going to work with uh, some dried hibiscus. The rose oil that I made in our July Christmas in July series. I'll put a link to that here. And then uh, some lavender. So I bought this from a local curb market back in the day when we could do that. So I've had it for a little while, but it's essential oil. So this is like uh, the French version, which is supposed to be a little bit better. And then uh, I want to do like a lemon and orange for like a fresh kind of smell. So super simple. I stuffed some last night just to say, see how hard that was going to be wasn't hard at all. So we'll put some out. And so basically you're just going to take, I found this at a local little um, market. And here are our petals. Try to get it where you can see. So basically you just poke them down in there, try to keep them somewhat whole because I did read that you could have uh, issues with it uh, getting in your, the, the gumming up your roller ball piece. Mine look like they're pretty, I went with a one that costs a little bit more, but it's supposed to be uh help with that kind of issue. So I had good reviews on not getting clogged up kind of thing. So I'm just putting them in there. And you, what we'll use is we'll use the essential oils. Uh, just a, uh, takes just a few drops and then uh, carrier oil. So that's what these larger bottles are. And I also have a bottle of rose water, so I'm going to use some of my rose petals and make just a light, refreshing kind of flavor with those. Get it to where I think I want it. My handy dandy scissors. Just give it a little poke. And just sort of fill it up.
here's some rose petals, some rose buds from our rose garden. So now we're going to gently see if we can put these in the jars. wanted to put a little bit of dried orange in there Look something like that. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to do four. Like I said, this is just an experiment. Never made this before. 
Actually, I'm going to do, I think I want to do six, maybe. All right, so there we've got some hibiscus and orange, some just plain hibiscus, some rose and lavender. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some uh, just rose water here on the end. Mm, smells lovely. Very nice. We're just going to fill these up with rose water. So that'll be our first set. And I'm filling it just to that bottom rim. I'll show you on the next one. So what I'm doing is I'm filling it to this bottom rim right here.
let this set for a minute. We'll use almost that whole bottle. And that is a four ounce, four ounces of that. All finished. So the first one to the far right, that would be what our rose and lavender and rose water looks like. Then the next one is our rose and uh, rose petals and lavender and a carrier oil. Then we have lavender and hibiscus petals and a carrier oil. The dark one there, that is actually hibiscus and lavender in rose water, which that was a little interesting to me. Then next, the very uh, next to last one there on the left, that would be our hibiscus and lavender um, in the oil, in the carrier oil. And then the one on the very end would be our hibiscus and orange and lemon combination. So they turned out quite pretty. And they should smell really nice when they're all the way done. Set up, you know, after they've been setting for a couple weeks. And the way I remember is that I labeled the box. So this was a, a an interesting experiment. I uh, didn't expect that dark one. Didn't expect this one. So that's kind of interesting that uh, the rose water would interact with the hibiscus leaves like that. It smelled very nice. Um, I'll have to test that and see how that uh, goes on the skin, how that applies. Um, if I were to do this project again, I probably would do more of the one here on the end, which is the, the rose petals uh, and the lavender and rose water. I really like that one. This one will be nice. It smelled really well. It smelled beautiful, uh, but I just really like the look of this one. And then I, I'm interested to see how this citrus one comes out. So yeah, I would do this, this project again. Uh, maybe tweak it a little bit along the way. I wouldn't use the droppers maybe with the oil. I would just uh, do the whole be steady hand and, and pour it. It would take a lot less time um, to, to get the oil in there. Uh, maybe some different flavors, you know, combinations uh, would be nice. Uh, but we're going to start here with these and uh, see how they turn out. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And well, until next time, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.